wherever you are, I hope you are well, Natural Disasters on the Event Channel, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around as I unveil a tale of nature's fury and the dance of elements that played out on the grand stage of Texas. Picture this, Tropical Storm Herald, a tempest of boundless might, descended upon the southeastern shores of Texas, a harbinger of chaos and tumult. With a malevolent flourish, it unleashed a torrential downpour that draped the land in a watery shroud, a staggering seven inches of rain drowning all in its path. As the sun sank beneath the horizon, the storm's wrath refused to wane. Transformed into a brooding tropical depression, it clung to its power, hammering the land with ceaseless rains. In the heart of the Lone Star State, over 23,000 souls were plunged into darkness, the once vibrant lights dimmed by nature's capricious hand. This reckoning followed hot on the heels of a historical deluge that had ravaged the southwestern expanse of the nation, as if the gods themselves were weeping. Imagine the winds howling like lost souls as Tropical Storm Herald, with the audacity of a conqueror, struck Padre Island in the Gulf of Mexico. Its fury knew no bounds, its reach stretching from the Rio Grande's embrace to the distant community of Port O'Connor, a span of nearly 400 kilometers even as the storm's heart weakened. The specter of flash floods lingered, haunting the weary land. Behold the gallant response of the Texan spirit, led by the resolute governor Greg Abbott. A symphony of rescue boats, gallant search and rescue teams, and the brave warriors of the state's National Guard marched forth to face the tempest's challenge. Wind gusts roared at 59 miles per hour, a ferocious chorus echoing in the ear of Corpus Christi. Yet, dear listeners, the tale did not end there. The storm, like a vengeful spirit, cast its eyes farther inland, ready to unleash its tempestuous rage upon the hot and arid Texas plains. But fear not, for as the heavens decreed, the rains would eventually relent, tapering off with the arrival of the morrow's dawn. A world once calm now witnesses storms of unbridled intensity, their tears from the heavens manifesting as extreme unrelenting rainfall. The world, dear listeners, stands at a precipice. As the mercury rises, yet, even as Texans clung to hope, another shadow loomed on the horizon, tropical storm Franklin, lurking ominously some 230 miles off the Dominican Republic's no, coast. Mames, its wicked intentions esto, were foretold, an onslaught of up to six inches of rain, a baptism of chaos destined to drench Puerto Rico. But let us not dismiss the specter of our own creation, the harbinger of chaos named climate change. Like a silent puppeteer, it tugged at the strings of sea surface temperatures, igniting the very air above and imbuing hurricanes, cyclones, and typhoons with a malevolent vitality. The clarion call for resolute action echoes through time, a plea to sever the chains of emissions and curb this apocalyptic waltz. For the curtain is drawn, the stage set, and the choice, as always, lies in the hands of humankind. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more daily videos, goodbye.